um, God is good in all, all the time. Last week we were meditating about um, in Christ. Let me see. Let me see how many of you really went back home referring the verses. Uh, those who were here last week. Bless the Lord. God is good. In, in Christ we are. Say it aloud please. In Christ we are. More than conquerors conquerors victorious thank you for the word pastor bob in christ so the message of uh, message i gave last week was a part of the series that i wanted to share with you all so that is why i had to brush up a little bit what we went through last week uh, i would as i told last week uh, keep uh, th this side of the congregation you may please keep Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 and this side of the congregation you may have chapter Philipp Philippians chapter 4 8 so that we we understand what God is trying to tell you and me this week or this month as we are all getting ready in preparation to receive or celebrate the coming of Jesus on earth so verse Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 says therefore I say unto you take not thou for your, for your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink nor what, what you are yet for your body what you shall put on is it not the life more than men, meat and the body than raiment and the Philippians uh, can you can you read the, that one finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are good of good report if that be of any virtue and if that be of praise think of those things so what God is trying to tell you brothers and sisters we all worry about so many things of the earth so many things of the world it could be food it could be our clothing it could be our living it could be our bills it could be our our needs in life but God is telling you reminding you today he's asking you take care of these things in your life thank you for I, I thank pastor Bob for spelling out the word victorious I, I believe it is the Holy Spirit who put that word in your mouth this morning. Because in order to be successful, happier in life, we need to be victorious, not victims. Not victims. Praise the Lord. Praise be to God because we have the greatest testimonies. We have the greatest strength given by the most holy, most powerful God. He has given. He has demonstrated by his living. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what God is saying to you and me today, my dear brothers and sisters, do not cling on, do not think of, do not worry of things of the world, which may at times seem to be very necessary in your life. It is necessary, yes, but think, remember, God is taking care of all those things. Is life not more than, more valuable than food? If you lose your soul, what are you going to do with the whole lot of food that you are having or you have reserved? God is asking you, calling out today, this morning, to hold on to Him. Hold on to Him alone. Why? Because He wants us to be victorious on this earth. How can we be victorious without food faster? Yes, we can. By his word we can live. Who, who believes that? Say amen for that. Amen. By his word we can live, my dear brothers and sisters. By his word we can live. Let us turn to Romans chapter 8 verse 35. What is he saying there? Paul writes to Romans here. Chapter 8 verse 35 chapter 8 verse 35 says who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness peril or sword This is part of my message last Sunday to you but I'm just continuing so that we are prepared for the message what God is giving us this Sunday for us What can separate us from the love of God Your sickness No your poverty? No. 
How many how many are in agreement with me? Think of the think of the think of the nations where poverty is at the most and people are giving their life to Jesus. How is it happening? They know the love of Christ for them. They know the sacrifice Christ did for them. Do you realize the sacrifice Jesus Christ has done for you? If so, if you realize, you will you will say that no, this poverty cannot take me away from my love, loving God. You may go through a situation where you may have challenging things, like a dead end in front of you. But if you put your trust in Christ, say that Jesus is with me in Christ. I am a conqueror. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. Not just a victory. But above that, you might have not imagined even. This is what the Lord is reminding you and me this morning, my dear brother and sister. Let us turn to, let us turn to Colossians 3. I've been telling this Colossians 3. I wanted you to read after going. Keeping, I don't know how many of you read that where he explains about all the difficulties, what we need to do. Let us, let us not go deeper into that because it is going to take more time, which I don't want because we have, the, the, the Holy Spirit is asking me to pray for all those who come with the need today. He is going to do something today in this place. He is going to do something today in this place. Maybe a bondage will be taken away a healing might take place something God is up to do something in this place this morning in this morning how many of you believe in that and how many of you want to experience that how many of you really want to give 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 room for God to work in you hallelujah let us turn to 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 I want to warn you today because some of you as you came sister thank you for the testimony the Holy Spirit is speaking each every one through these verses the message the Holy Spirit gave me this morning or this message for you and me today wasn't known to sister earlier but what did she say? The devil put some thought in my mind. Sometimes it comes. You know, sometimes our, our old sinful nature, old sinful days, or sometimes our generational curses, they call. It bothers us, right? What is Peter saying here? You read. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You know why? You know why? You know why? The fear, the thought of sickness, the thought of weakness, the thought of uncertainty, the thought of uncertain future, the thought of negligence, the thought of no one for me. All these words spread in your brain by the devil. Take it away. Take it away. I tell, I'm telling you, you don't listen to the devil. But tell that in Christ, I am more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. In Christ. Because these thoughts, these, these points that come into your mind and trying to weaken your body, this is not from God. This is not from God. It is the trick of a Satan. Here Peter is warning each, each one of us here. Warning us. He is telling be sober. Be sober. He is not telling be lazy. Is he saying that? He is saying be sober. Gentle in spirit. Soft in talking. Patient in waiting upon the Lord. Be sober, uh, but vigilant. What are we supposed to be vigilant of? Uh, what are we supposed to be vigilant of? Uh, as I said, uh, the thoughts coming in our minds. Uh, sometimes it could be your friend, my dear brother. Your very close friend, uh, always sitting next to you. Always praising you, pampering you, but not leading you to the God's way. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. 
because whatever the lord has promised you it should manifest in you only when you submit to his will amen only when you submit to his will yes he is capable he can do wonders he can do miracles but he expects your heart he expects your obedience he expects you to love him than the world hallelujah father i ask you lord today you give give that strength to my people my father this church the people who are here father may them receive receive that strength that you would give them lord be sober but vigilant my dear brothers and sisters be sober but vigilant you may be expecting a miracle in your life a turning point in your life patiently wait upon the lord but be vigilant whom you are dealing with what you are talking to whom where you are traveling to whom you are moving along with what is your time spent for be vigilant of that because why we need to be vigilant because the devil is roaring around because he knows the time is short jesus is coming he is coming soon he is coming soon for his people his church so in this small time he wants to take you away from his presence so that you are happy with the worldly things things of the world so that you are you are sad with the sorrows in your heart so that you are you are confused because what you are going to do you you spend all your time with the, what i am going to do but if you put your trust in god if you believe and you have experienced god mighty power working in me you will say that oh devil get away from me you cannot because in christ i am more than a conquerer raba shikara ra 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 bo shandariya ra see see that's why he is he is warning peter is warning you and me he is warning you and me do not do not give a room i tell you one secret how you can overcome overcome such things you know when you are weak you say that it is to glorify the name of god if you are if you are having sickness you tell to your sickness to yourself you say this sickness this weakness or this financial struggle that i am going through this is for the glory of god in my life oh rashaka rabori bala randaria you will see the miracle in your life you will see the moment you start listening to you are falling with the what the what the weakness is trying to overtake you then you start become a failure there rather rather if you say that in this weakness my god's name is going to be glorified through this situation my god is going to do a miracle in my life oh my head is going to be lifted my life is going to be coming up oh my children are going to come back to you when you say so you will see the work of god in your life rasha kara bosha kara bless the lord hallelujah 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 i want to give couple of examples from the bible my dear brothers and sisters god has demonstrated each and everything in the bible so that we will carry forward with it let us turn to john chapter 6 verses 1 to 4 come on john chapter 6 where we can see here here the disciples are coming like there is a big crowd there you know you know the story after these things jesus went to our sea of galilee which go go ahead a great multitude followed him because they saw him his miracles which he did did on the on them that were deceased continue sister and jesus went up into the mountain and there he sat with his disciples if you read through the whole whole thing i want to emphasize on verse 14 then those men when they had seen the miracle that jesus said that this is the truth that the prophet that should come into the world here if you if you see the whole if you read how many of you know the story the the five loaves and two fishes all of you know right all of you know see when there was a shortage the multitude the great multitude of people are there but very little food on their hand 
and Jesus is asking them to okay feed them Jesus said told his disciples just feed them how can we feed because so many in number how can what happened that day that crowd saw how god fed those people with the five loaves my dear brother and sister today this morning is your problem greater than this do you think god cannot feed you god cannot take care of your food see what god is trying teaching us here when there is a shortage through his hand he is he is going to do a miracle in your life receive it in the name of jesus he is going to do a miracle when there is short through the shortage his name will be glorified turn to first kings chapter 17 verse 4 what's happening there the prophet the servant of god is being fed by the bird the place where you are living or your family or what whatsoever with the maybe having famine or trouble problems when you are with god when you are with the jesus he will feed you no matter what <laughs> nowhere you will not understand where from it is coming but he will feed you my brother he will bring what is needed for you he will bring to you you need not depend on any human being for that even from the stones he can raise his army our god is such an almighty and powerful god through shortfalls again i'm tell again this is what the spirit is telling me if you are going through hard times if you are finding difficulty with your financial situation right now tell to yourself tell to your situation through this situation god is going to do a great wonder in my life i am going to be victorious i am going to be victorious raba shadaria karaboria larada rashadaria oh yes my god is able to break through every change oh rashakaranda raboshidaria tell that like that with that belief with that trust you tell and you see the miracle happening in your life if you have in come across that experience so far i invite you i encourage you try it out this week try it out please don't look at your problems and say that i'm weak i'm sad instead tell that my god is greater my god is stronger than my situation and one other thing i i'm i'm reminded of there are some sitting here this morning thinking about your old sinful life the burden of sin in your heart you've been always always haunted by this feeling i don't know who that is but this is what the spirit is saying there is no sin jesus cannot wash away he has already forgiven you my dear brother sister he has forgiven you why do you worry why do you carry that burden again in your heart just accept the peace the lord is giving you this morning just accept just accept it what is there stopping you to not accepting that blessing god is giving you what is there please leave it to the lord you know in order to inherit all these blessings in order to have all these blessings god is giving showering upon us we need to have a strong mind we need to have a strong mind how 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 can we get a strong mind through faith in christ amen christ and the word we cannot separate he is the word rashanda rabushi i want you to think about i don't know why the holy spirit is again coming back again coming back some of you who are weak in your body struggling with sickness 
I want you to turn to John chapter 11. Chapter 11, come on. Let us quickly turn to John chapter 11, verse 4 to the, the, the ra raising, raising of the Lazarus from the death. John chapter 11. When Jesus heard that, he said, the sick, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Believe in him. Whatever sickness you are having, whatever sickness you are going through right now, whatever weakness in your body you are going through right now, hold on to this word and say that this is for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is for the glory of God, not for man. Not for just my mere feelings. It is for the glory of God. Only when, only when you give your sickness, worry, anxiety, everything for the glory of God, you will see how you become a testimony, a witness in front of the eyes of millions of people. You want to stand in front of million and say that God has healed me, God has done this to me. You want to believe and you declare today that this is for the glory of God. Whatever I am going through Lord, I give it to you. I know that you are, you can heal me. But this I submit to you for your glory Father. Leave it to him and you see. You see how God is working. Not only your family, not only your own eyes, but your society, your community, your nation will see what God has done in your life. Bless you, Lord. Oh, Rasha. Whoever is there, like you can just close your eyes for, for one short moment and then pray. Ask the Lord, Lord, my sickness, my weakness today, I give it to you. Let your name be glorified. Father, I know that you listen to our prayer. Whatever we ask in the name of Jesus, you listen to and you grant, Lord. Today I surrender. I surrender this sickness, this weakness to you. May let your name be glorified, Father. Heal me, Lord. Heal me, Lord, so that my family, my people can see that you are God of God, Lord of Lords. Pray like that, my dear brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. And God will, God will make the change. Someone is waiting for a result from overseas here. This, I don't know who is that. Someone is waiting for a good result from overseas. You are not going to listen to a good news. But God is doing something greater what you have not expected. You may not receive a good news this week, but what you are going to listen, what you are going to get is greater than what you have expected. Receive it. I don't know for whom it is. God, this is what the Lord is telling this morning. Submit it to the Lord and say that for your glory, Lord, I leave it to you. For your glory, Father, I leave it to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in order to have a strong mind, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to have faith in God. Let us turn to Isaiah chapter 26. 3 and 4. Let us turn to Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter Isaiah 26, chapter 3, chapter 26, verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. The next verse says, Trust he in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Yes, this morning if you are having a peaceless mind or restless mind or you are having some kind of trouble going through in your mind, put your trust in the Lord and see that peace coming into your mind. So, if you are peaceless, that is a sign that your trust is not in the Lord. You can put the other way around. If you are not peaceful, if you are worried about so many things, if you are, if you are struggling to, that means your complete trust is not in the Lord. Because verse 3 says, verse 3 says, you see, he gives peace, verse, six, this, verse 3, thou will keep him in perfect peace. 
perfect peace perfect no one can shake that peace of mind i remember sometime back when we were living in india like we had issues with our uh, business like we had a lot of struggles struggles but i always used to come home peacefully and i used to be like after 6 months only my wife came to know that there was big issue going on she asked me how can you be so composed in spite of all these happenings my trust is in my lord hallelujah he is my fortress randariya karabo shidari alara a man who puts his trust in the lord will be never forsaken not his his legs he will not fall my dear brothers my lord is good he is faithful he held me he is walking with me in the in the eyes of my enemies he always lifted me up he never let me down that is my god whom i worship rashadari karabo glory to the lord amen hallelujah it is the same lord uh, you and me worship together let let the weakness let let not the world's things it not take your peace away put your trust in the lord and see how god is leading you rashadari karabo if you are weak if your sickness is over you know bothering you just tell that lord i leave this situation for your glory we have a relative a girl in india their father their, their parents they asked us to pray this is what the lord told me that day very first day when they told this sickness is for his glory why because when things do happen in an ordinary way people don't accept it as a special thing do you agree with me when things do happen in an ordinary way people they oh okay it is just they think it is just taken for granted if you are going through sickness be happy god has chosen you as a mighty vessel so that his glory will be manifested through you on this earth my dear brother you are special in his hands a sister said this morning before she started the worship when god gives a gift it is a gift given to us he chooses whom to give what because he knows what is best for you you may not know i may not know what is best for me but my god knows he knows what is best for me and he gives me the best so if you are going through difficulty if you are having trouble tell that lord i know that you have in your sight i am known as a special one thank you for choosing me and give turn your weakness into victory in jesus name that's why i say in christ we are more than conquerors my dear brothers and sisters i want to i want to tell one real story one real story there was a family in uh, in india there are, there are two incident that i really want you to um, listen to the two incidents a family had a couple of children these two children when they and these children are special because they got these two children after 8 years of their marriage they waited for 8 long years to have these children then they the children when they were playing near the near by the river side they accidentally they drowned in the water these two these you know one other thing was these two this couple they were not a born christians they accepted christ they gave their life to christ and after that after that after few years of their acceptance they they got saved these two children lost their life now the family the members the the people around them everyone started mocking at them you went with the pagan god you went with the other god you you stopped worshiping our god you know our tradition you lost our tradition they started mocking with all kind of hard words heartbroken they could not even come out of their home because all the families relatives around surrounded them they were mocking teasing all the time but you know 
this was the verse they held on to for the glory of god whatever happened in our life lord we know it is through your glory it is for your glory it is for you lord we leave it to you lord they said god gave them the peace of mind and god they gave them the heart that they would adopt children and they would feed the orphan orphans they started doing it believe believe me you know what happened in their life next time she got conceived you know how god blessed them four children in one delivery how good he saw god and that's why i say if you leave your troubles worries for the glory of god you will know what he is going to do in your life it is not just you know my heart burdens every time when i see people taking things for granted and they call themselves christians or they call themselves just like coming and going in church let us have a sensible relationship with god understand what he who he is what he is doing for us in the same way there was one other incident same thing you know in i, I don't remember the year in tsunami when tsunami hit the coastal region in southeast asia a family lost their whole whole family is gone just a man alone standing there just the man alone rest of the, all the family members it's a big family like you know they they are a big family everyone gone see the faith he had in god he said lord this is for your glory if you put your carnal mind and ask questions oh if he believed in god why did god ask this uh, you know allow this to happen i would say i would call them foolish people you know why paul says how can a vessel ask its master how why, why did you make me a vessel not a pot the creator knows whom we are to be what we are to be hand it over to him so that man who lost the entire family he started adopting children he started making an orphan house and today he is having so many hundreds of children being blessed through him my dear brothers and sisters i am not a great man i am not well educated but i know the grace of god on me is enormous the grace of god in my life is for his glory amen have your way lord have your way lord if you submit if you are submit your life today to god and tell him that lord my life my sickness my financial situation my job my family life my broken family life my children sometimes you may think that my why my daughter is not coming to church why my son is not reading bible why they are not listening to god's word dear brothers and sisters give them to the lord ask the lord lord it is for your glory i leave it to you have given these children this life this fair situation you have allowed it just like job i say lord it is you who gave me i leave it to you glorify lord yes lord tell so tell so my dear brothers and sisters i don't know today the holy spirit is asking you and me to just trust in the lord put your trust in the lord and say that whatever situation i am going through whatever whatever is my problem this is for the glory of god this is for the glory of god then your weakness will become a victory your troubles will become a triumph in front of the sight of others amen how many of you believe in that how many of you believe in that oh father i thank you lord for thank you lord that's why in matthew 17:20 it says if you have a faith like a mustard seed you command this mountain to be moved away it will go do we have faith 
do we have that faith in us if you have that faith in you today you tell father i believe in you father i believe in you whatever situation i am having i give it for your glory the god who raised his lazarus from death is still living my dear brothers and sisters it is the same god whom we worship it is the same god who can raise us from our situation no matter what is the pit you are living in now what is the situation what is the weakness you are going through god can raise you today rashadara borala oh the same god the same god almighty all powerful oh rashadara karaboshandariya hallelujah father i thank you father i thank you father i thank you lord let us turn to one chronicles one chronicles 1611 i want to finish with this one chronicles chapter 16 verse 11 i want you to take this verse with you it is not just the presence of the lord in this place we come here and say that lord i believe in you no seek the lord and his strength and seek his face continually as you walk as you drive as you work as you talk with other people as you move around seek his strength continuously why why we need to because at times we don't know what to talk sometimes the questions are so rational the questions are so complicated we cannot answer in a normal way with them if you go with your intellectual you cannot answer to them but ask for the lord ask the lord lord give me that strength lord give me your strength so seek the lord and his strength seek his face continuously every time every time whatever you are going through ask the lord i look at your face those who looked upon his face looked upon the lord were radiant their face was shining when moses was there and when he came down the people could not look at moses because his face was glowing radiant ask the lord ask the lord today my dear brothers and sisters i invite you i encourage you to come forward if you have any sickness any weakness any change in your body that you might want to maybe sister can come uh, come forward and pray for these uh, those who are in need after that we will have our offering and announcement and then we will go but uh, the the holy spirit is asking me again and again if you are going through hard time and if you are looking for a breakthrough you may please come forward and we would like to pray for you and god might not might god will amen god will give you that peace god will give you that strength god will bring that breakthrough hallelujah